How you guys doing? This is Dave Hughes for MMA Weekly. I, uh... Wow, this weekend's fights were something, huh? UFC 249. I'm only going to cover a few fights. We had the weigh-ins today for the Anthony Smith Glover Teixeira card. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, the corona shit is about done. I'm back to work myself. I don't know about the rest of y'all out there. Uh, I, uh... I'm happy to be back, as you can see. You don't get to see me in the t-shirt and the hat, and it's, it's the tie and the shirt, collared shirt. But anyway, let's get to what's really important here, mixed martial arts. So, this weekend, Justin Gageney, Tony Ferguson, oh my god. Fight of the year already, no doubt. I don't see any other fight beating it. I don't see any other fight getting better than it. Uh called it up on the Justin Gageney thing. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I knew Henry was going to beat Cruz. Now, here's the thing that I'm going to ask you guys out there. Watch the Dominic Cruz Henry Cejudo fight. As you can see, I'm driving home. Um, and let me see what you guys think. Was Dom, was Dom out? Was it a just, was it just to uh, call it a technical knockout? Was Dominic out, or was he trying to get to his feet? Now, as a referee in MMA, you are required to give the fighter warning. If you don't improve your position, I'm going to call this fight. Now, I don't remember hearing the referee ever tell Dom that. Uh, I watched a little bit of the Dominic Cruz Ariel Hawani uh, on the Ariel, Ariel Hawani show and um, he said that the referee said this to him and he got up and that's when he hit the fence and started working, working his way up. Now, here's the question. Do I believe it was a just stop? I think it was borderline. I do. Um, you, he, he was hurt. He was hurt bad. He was. Um, but this is how I feel about it. If this had have been, you know, Joe Schmo against whomever, it, it's it's not it, it's it's a just stop. But this is for this is for the world title. Okay, this is the world champion. Um and you 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 let him go out on his shield, man. You you let him you better knock me the fuck out is pretty much how I think these guys feel. Uh, they don't get to be champions unless they do have that mindset to them. So I'm going to say that, yeah, it, it was an early stoppage then for a championship fight. Okay, I'm going to move on to uh, Justin Gageney and Tony Ferguson. Holy fuck, right? But uh, Ferguson looked a little slow. He did. Uh, he's either getting old, which, let's face it, the only motherfucker none of us can beat is Father Time. And he is undefeated. No one beats him. Simple as that. You don't beat him. You can't. Ali, Tyson, they all got beat. Silva beat by Father Time. That said, is Ferguson getting old? What do you guys think? Reply in the bottom. I think, uh... I don't think he's getting old. I think it's the downcline of his career. Uh, I think he was slow because of the weight cut. He took two weight cuts in a month. Um, I've cut weight before, and it's not an easy task. It's hard on your body. It's hard, hard on your mind, believe it or not. Uh, it's, it's hard to force your body to not have what it once sees and can have, you're choosing not to have it. So it's a battle of willpower, and then you get pissed off. So, uh, yeah, I think Tony would have did better off by not cutting weight. Um, I think actually in the world, I think now the fights to make right now would be uh, Dustin Poirier versus Tony Ferguson. If Poirier wants to wait around for Ferguson to heal, because let's face it, Gage and he fucked 
his face up. Uh, I've never seen Gagney hit anybody and them not be separated from their consciousness. And in this fight, he absolutely hit him numerous times. I, I, I watched it with my son, and we, we were up to like 20 overhand rights the man caught him with. And let's face it, all it usually takes is one. But, um, yeah, Justin Gagey, my boy, interim lightweight champion of the world, baby. Can he beat Khabib? What do you guys think? I'm not going to answer that one. I'll do a whole show on that shit when it comes around. But, yeah, I think, uh, what do you guys think about the Gagey khabib fight? I'd honestly rather see Gagey versus Conor McGregor because... Look, man, it's no secret. I don't really like Khabib's style. I don't really like... I don't really like Khabib, to be honest. I don't like Connor, but I fucking don't like Khabib either. I just liked Khabib better than Connor at the time. Now, a Gage and Connor McGregor fight, can you guys fucking even think of that? Those two are the two... That's the hardest hitter against the fastest, you know? That's... It's... I'm not sure how tall. I think Connor's a little bit short, but Gagey's 5'11, I believe, and Connor's like 5'9. Connor's reach, I think, is better because he is real. He got that that V shape to him, you know, you get that long reach. But yeah, that'd be the fight I'd like to see, Gagey and McGregor. But uh, a fight that I watched on the card that really caught my attention Calvin Cater versus Jeremy Little Heathen Stevens. Jeremy Stevens fan, I am. I really am. Uh, I think maybe Little Heathen might might need to hang him up. Um, he just... He's not getting any better. He really isn't. He's, he's stuck where he's at, and I'm taking nothing away from Calvin Cater. Calvin Cater brought it. He was amazing. He did exactly what could have, you know, been asked of him, but that's not the same Jeremy Stevens of a few years back. It really isn't. Uh, he landed on Cater, where a couple years ago, it would have it would have knocked Cater the fuck out. I think he broke his nose with the one, but it, uh, yeah, I think it's time for Jeremy Stevens to walk away as, a, you know, my opinion, a legend he is. He fought everybody. And I mean fucking everybody. Um, but yeah, congrats on Calvin Cater. If that's a fight. You guys uh, want to watch a good fight? Check that one out. Give props to uh, Anthony Pettis for beating Donald Cerrone. I called that the senior citizen match because that's kind of what it looked like, to be honest. It was kind of boring. And uh, congrats to Greg Hardy. Beat the Castro. Good job. Hardy got on the thing. He's, let's face it, 